DC City Council had a preliminary vote the other week on a secure DC bill uh, that expands uh, the detention, detention for youth and adults who commit violent crimes, establishes drug-free zones, et cetera. Uh, given the president's uh, signing of an overturning of a DC criminal code last year, does the White House have a position on this new DC uh, bill that seeks to address public safety here in the nation's capital? So as police chiefs will tell you across the country, we've seen uh, actually a significant uh, a drop in crime uh, last year in 2023. And so obviously the president's efforts to fund the police and measures to prevent crime are working according to this 2023 FBI data. Uh, there has been significant, obviously, drop in, in, in crime, including one of the largest yearly declines in homicides ever. And so, look, if you even compare it to what we saw, uh, what we saw in the Trump's administration in their final year, uh, we saw that in the U.S. and this country uh, that the largest increase in murders ever recorded. So the president took action. We're seeing we saw uh, we're seeing a decrease in, in last year. Uh, and so, uh, look, we want to do more. Obviously, uh, president respects the D.C.'s right to pass measures that strengthen both public safety and public trust, but not certainly going to comment uh, directly on the proposal uh, that's still being debated. So we're going to let D.C. go through their process, and we're going to do everything that we can to continue continue uh, to lower crime here in the U.S.